Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. It's been a little bit since I filmed a puzzle video, but we are coming back with a bang with probably the most requested video on my channel. A couple months ago, I did purchase a few Magnolia puzzles, and ever since, a lot of you have commented either here or on my Facebook group page or my Instagram that you just wanna see my experience, you just wanna see this video first, and so that's what I'm doing today. This is a brand that's from Turkey, so I was originally going to do it for my Around the World series, but I have another brand that I could fill in Turkey spots, so, so I didn't mind putting these puzzles on the top of the pile because because I honestly wanted to do them too. So we are going into Magnolia. I really haven't researched the brand at all, but I know they are a much smaller company. They retail for around $31. You can get free shipping if you hit a certain threshold. I think you have to buy three puzzles to get free shipping for international shipping, at least to here in the US, which is awesome. I know it is quite pricey to ship internationally, so it is definitely one of the better brands that I've seen for international pricing for shipping. So it's one of the few that I've Dutton so far that actually has a free shipping cost for the US. I know we are spoiled here, um, so I'm sure they're eating it somewhere, but if you can afford to get three or wait to get three, I definitely would because the shipping is definitely a savings. Now I do own four puzzles. I only did one for this video just so you guys can see my thoughts and opinions. I'll do the other ones I'm sure very soon. I'll show you the puzzles that I have and then I'll show you the overhead footage of me doing the puzzle. I'll walk you through my process. And then when we come back, I'm just gonna share my opinion and experience with the brand. I should mention before we get started that as I'm filming this, they are on a summer break. It is a smaller company and maybe this is just the norm in Europe, I'm not quite sure, but the website itself is down at the moment. I'll leave it down below in case you're watching this later on or if you just wanna save it in like your notes app so you can go back to it later. I'm sure they will be coming back they have been posting a little bit on their social medias to let us know that it is still in the works. So it didn't disappear, but just so you know, if you're watching it right when I'm posting this, that the website may not be working, but definitely keep an eye out for the future. But I do have four here and it doesn't nearly come close to all the different variety and collections that they have, but it gives you an idea of what they carry. Um, so the first one here is part of their newer collection. It's from Alexander Jansen. It's called Colonial Cinnamons Mystery Orchestra. And this is what it looks like. It is like crazy monsters with crazy instruments, like in an orchestra. Um, it looks really cute. Uh, there's some people, but mostly just like crazy monsters in like a creepy, like foresty type situation. I think it looks super cute. I saw this one on their Instagram and it does look a lot brighter than what you see on the box. And I will say that, that, that for me too, I feel like the puzzle is a lot brighter than what you see. So. That is something to mention. For me, that's awesome because usually it goes the other way where a brand looks really bright on the picture, but then when you get into the puzzle pieces, you're like, wow, this is a lot duller or darker and it can be a lot trickier to do, um, but that is not the case with these ones. So just a little, I guess, sneak peek of my thoughts so far. But here we are for the first one. The second one that I have here is called Groupies at Risk and the artist is Mark Fredrickson. This one is a thousand pieces. Oh, the other one was 1,050 pieces. And this one just ugh, calls out to me because I am a saxophone player and I have orange cats and the four, and the person who's right front and center is an orange cat playing the saxophone. On the back of this one, I definitely see a nice variety of the types of images, like they have more photograph ones, they have cartoonsy ones, they have a very sweet one with lions right there. Um, a nice, again, good variety of different images and styles. So I feel like most people can find something that they that they like. Um, but this one I just love. I even like how he has like a little suit on. It's just super cute. Um, so I can definitely see, so I'm excited to do that one in the future. And then a very distinct style that they have is by the artist Romy Lerda. And it is like this pop art, very cartoonsy style, almost like brat doll style of imagery. And this one is called Audrey for Audrey Hepburn. And it just looks beautiful. I did hear this one is a bit trickier, even though they all have the same difficulty level. I have noticed online from people who've done this say this one's pretty tricky. So I don't know if maybe they need to up the difficulty level or maybe people are used to doing a lot of black and white puzzles, which I've done a few of them, and you really have to just focus on the texture, but there's also a lot of just like black, I don't know. But anyways, this is one that I am very excited to do in the future. And then the one that we will be featuring today 
and it's called Tea Time with Alice by the same artist and it's just so fun, right? You have Alice, we have the rabbit, we have the cat, we have mushrooms, we have the stopwatch, uh, it's on a playing card, it's just a whole bunch of fun. So the, this is the one we'll be doing today and I'll just show you the overhead footage, walk you through my process and when we come back I'll just share my opinion. Here is the box for the Magnolia puzzle and there is a shine on the box currently because there is cellophane on top so that's why you see quite a bit of glare um, but the box itself is a really nice sturdy cardboard. It is a level 3 according to their difficulty scale and in general I was just really excited to do this puzzle. On the back you do have a variety of different images that Magnolia carries and it has a website at the top and then on the side it has a few different languages but it does mention their missing piece program where you can request a piece that is missing from the box which is pretty cool and it is made from recycled cardboard. And here's what the box looks like without the cellophane. Obviously it's a lot brighter and it is 100% matte. It looks absolutely stunning. And then going into the box, there is a Ziploc bag with all the pieces. And then there was like a little satchel of powder. I'm assuming it's for moisture. One of those things that just like helps things in shipping. So that was in the box. And then going into the pieces, they are really nice and thick in quality. The first thing I noticed is that they are 100% matte. They are a traditional puzzle cut, but they are in a few different shapes and they're nice and bright in color. I really enjoyed the pieces a lot. It was definitely a nice high quality puzzle. And for me, I actually did a pretty thorough sort. It didn't take too long, I would say maybe 30 minutes, where I sorted through the pieces. And as I was going, I was pulling out very distinct areas and just popping them together like the A and then Alice's face. And I automatically noticed that they just had a really nice fit. They were nice, bright in color. There is a little bit of puzzle dust, which I'm showing here. Not crazy, but it is something that was noticeable, so I just wanted to point that out. So here is my current situation. I actually did a pretty thorough sort more than normal. Let's start over here. We have mushrooms of different colors. We have the red mushrooms. This is the, just, I didn't realize on the picture on the box that the dark mushrooms also have a tinge of red. So the tinge of red and then the black we have puzzle pieces that have gold on them because that means it's going to be around the clock. So we have watch pieces, here are edges, and then I've started to assemble some of Alice in like that center column. I also have the A up here. So that's what I'm working on currently. And I also have her tights separate and then pieces of her hat are over here. So I think I'm doing pretty well sort wise. Um, now I can actually get to doing the puzzle, but I've been just putting together pieces already. I'm very impressed with just the quality of the stuff. It fits really nicely. You can pick up huge sections, no issues. Um, really love the coloring a lot. Really love the thickness a lot. So I have no complaints other than just it's a smidge dusty, but I wiped it off and it's fine. So this is a good brand so far. I'm excited to see how well it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna continue on. So I first started off with the very distinct areas, which is pretty much Alice, the flowers that were around the watch, pretty much anything with red in it, and then her dress. These areas were pretty easy to put together, it did not take me long at all, and it was just a super fun area to do, which is why I started there. other section of pieces where it was like something was on the piece like there was some distinct character and so I was able to find the cat and the rabbit pretty much in that box and then it also included the hat pieces which I'll use later on as well just like the mushrooms so pretty much like all the areas that I was missing was in this one little section I 
would continue finding the missing pieces within that box, but here is my current status. It was super fun to put that area together. Also noticed that in the box with the watch were the rest of her apron. So that's what I was looking for here. But then after I finished Alice, I moved on to the watch and then the border around it. expecting these large areas of color to be a lot trickier than they were but there are very distinct areas of particular colors so the area I'm working on here is a very much like a bright teal and then it moved out to a brighter blue and then on the other side was more of a green with a navy so it was actually quite easy and I actually just divided up the pieces by shape and it was really quick to put those areas together a lot quicker than I was expecting. And then the mushrooms were also somewhat easy as well. You could tell the different colors and I was just working off the spots and the shape of the pieces. So this whole section I was expecting to take a lot longer than it did. So that is the finished puzzle. It came out so stunning and beautiful and sturdy. You could pick up the whole puzzle if you wanted to. I really enjoyed it. All right, I am back and as you guys saw, I finished the Magnolia puzzle and it was everything I wanted it to be. I really don't have much negative to say about this brand and that's very rare. Usually I have something to mention. I feel like the most minor of details is that it's a little dusty. Like not so much as Ravensburger, you know, you're not getting like tablespoons of blue cardboard dust, but it's a, it was a little bit noticeable, but I'm sure if you just sift through it or dumped all the pieces out, stored it and then like brushed away the dust like it didn't make the puzzles pieces gritty but it was just noticeable it's a little dusty um but other than that i really have nothing bad to say about this puzzle i really enjoyed it it was nice and bright and colorful i had zero absolutely none for false fits they all had its place they all stuck together really well i can move large sections like i moved her whole entire face just picked it up by one piece and like moved it and it was no issues, didn't fall apart. Um, it was nice and matte. Again, it was nice and bright. It was nice thick pieces. It was the perfect size. Like everything, I everything about it I liked. I love the image. I love the quality. And I'm so excited to do more from them. I love that I have three extras to do because I feel like this is a brand I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on. I know they are pricier than your typical US brands. Um, they I think they range around $30 a piece maybe a smidge more, a smidge less, depending on the piece size. But I feel like it's like a worth an investment if you want to experience like a good puzzle brand. If this is something that's out of your budget, I would definitely say put it on like a wish list or like a gift list if someone's like, in, like, hey, what to buy you? I feel like this is like a nice gift option because it's just like a nice, sturdy, beautiful puzzle brand and I loved it. So I'm excited to have more. I'm excited to see where the brand goes with other collections. There are so many, like just looking at the back of the boxes that I want already. And I know that doesn't even like come close to all the puzzles that they offer. So those are my thoughts. I really enjoyed it. I really highly recommend it. And I 100% will be doing more and buying more in the future. So I hope this satisfied your Magnolia puzzle review. Again, I have more in my collection. I'll definitely do them and you'll see them in the future, but I just wanted to get this video. I just wanted to experience the brand and that puzzle has just been like eyeing 
me on the shelf. It's been like, hey girl, you really want to do this puzzle? Uh, and it did not disappoint. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you in a vlog very soon. I think it will be the last vlog that is coming right after this video. So that is it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to hear some heads ups about puzzles that I'm doing or videos that are coming out or just want to be a part of the feedback that I get, feel free to follow me on Instagram or our Facebook group. I'll leave that down below. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.